Aaron, you've had an almost dramatic spiritual awakening recently. What were some of the factors that contributed to that? Yes, uh, I definitely have. Over the span of the past year, um, I've started to study my Bible more, read Ellen White's writings, uh, have a more deep and intimate prayer life, and all these factors helped me to grow in a deeper relationship uh, with God and better spiritual life. So Ellen White contributed to you knowing Jesus better. Tell me more about that. Well, definitely. Uh, all of her writings really, when you, when you read them, it, what it does, it really amplifies your experience when you then turn to the Bible, and it really brings out, she brings out Jesus. And, and it's like, instead of, instead of having to really struggle reading the Bible sometimes, it brings some gems to the surface. So, so that it's like, oh, wow, I can see Jesus more clearly in this. You know, you're a young person. You have choices to make every day regarding, for instance, entertainment. Does Ellen White help you in these everyday choices? Well, certainly. It's, the, it's kind of the whole entire transformation that's occurred with her being a big part of it. See, now reading the Bible and reading Ellen White and doing spiritual things take, are, are, are much more uh, pleasurable than they used to be. Now, meaning that the worldly entertainment, like movies or music, are, are much less important. And, and they're not as fun as they used to be. So, what do you do for entertainment, for recreation, now that you don't do some of the other things that you used to do? Well, for, for recreation, in my free time, uh, I like to go outside and play basketball and get with my friends. And, and, and now, definitely spend time with, with my friends doing things that are more spiritually uplifting. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but even a lot of time in my free time or recreation time, I like to uh, get every spare minute and go and study the Bible more. One more question. Yes. What is your favorite Ellen White book? Well, that definitely has to be Patriarchs and Prophets because that's the first book uh, that I completely read from cover to cover of hers. And What's it about? Patriarchs and Prophets, well, it's the first book in a, in a five-set series called the Conflict of the Ages series. And it spans from, it's kind of like a little bit of a commentary from Genesis, from the origins of sin, until about the, the fall, the death of King David. So it, it gives a lot of valuable insights into the Word of God. And in story form. And readers, we want to story let you form. know that there is an adapted version of the conflict series that Aaron was just referencing. It's in easier English, and it's available at Adventist book centers. Thank you, Aaron. No problem.